Dear Pixelball Games, this is Zach Morris, and I was just wondering if you or Mondo could uh, make a video about repairing an NES and whether or not it's even worth repairing it or just buying a new one. Greatly appreciated, Zach Morris. How's it going, Zach Morris? Thanks for that question. And uh, well, today I got you covered. So we're going to get started on the things that you're going to be needing. So first off, screwdriver. You're going to actually need a screwdriver because there's six screws to open this thing up. Uh, secondly, one of my favorite tools to use is this right here. It's a hook. Now this one I kind of modified it to kind of like fit my need on this one and we'll get to that right now and show everybody. So those are mainly the tools that you're going to be needing. Uh, the rest of the tools, we'll get to that in a minute because this is what came in uh, just like always. It just always comes in and I mean Nintendos are pretty reliable so I'll show everybody what to do. You don't need to buy a new 72 pin or anything. I'll show you guys. So first thing. Your Nintendo. First thing I do is uh, I flip it over, okay? So flip it over, take this tab off and from the bottom, get the screwdriver. So there's six screws you have to worry about. So normally, get all the screws loosened up. All right, so now that we got the top part off, this is what we need to do get all the screws out. Now I'm talking about all these screws that are right here. And please note where they're all at because of this heat shield. So take every little screw off because you need to take, take off also the pin connector. But it's important, there's actually two screws that you do need to worry about. There's only two screws that are actually the longest ones. And I'll show where those are only at. The rest should be easy. Okay, so now that we got those screws out of the way, so now you take this off, this for the tray. So we take this off. Now these are the only ones that you need to worry about. Remember where it's at. See these right here? These are the only two long ones. They're always gonna be on the inner part. So now everything should be loose. So first thing that I do, take everything off. So you take that, the controller ports, take the whole power uh, power strip off right there. Don't be scared guys. One of the things is do not be scared of opening this up. It's very primitive. So, so put this aside, put it there. Now the bottom piece, take this off. This right here, the pin connector, take that off. We'll get to this one right now in a minute. So, this is where this comes in handy. Now, just keep this in mind, guys. See this part right here, the square? And here's the lockout chip. Now, this right here makes the Nintendo flash on and off and on and off when the game is dirty or isn't correctly inserted. So, it's annoying. So, let's disable this. So, here's one of the ways you can kind of guide yourself. There's on this, there's four little legs. One of the ways is always find that little plus sign right there, or just count one, two, three, four. But remember, from this square right there, that's the first one, okay? So let me disable that. One of the things, grab your hook. Grab your hook and then just pull it back, okay? So, let's see if we can focus on that. That's all you need to do, guys. Just break that leg. Break a leg, guys. Now, you might get a chance if you find like a whole bunch of dust bunnies in there. It's not that, this is not that bad, but there's a lot of them that are just full of dust. That, now's the time to actually just get in there and start, you know, dusting everything off. Or if it's yellow, you know, we'll get to that in another part of the video. Now, here's where things get crazy. Now, sometimes uh, Nintendo games, obviously they don't work and, you know, people have to put them in put them down, they have to clean them, do all kinds of crazy stuff. All I do, with this hook, you get in there, you get in there, and then what you do, you just pull it up, do not lift it all the way up to where it hits that top, and just, just enough so that way it's just raised up. So I raise all these pins one by one, one by one guys. Just take your time 
you ain't gonna break it but you know it's better using the original nintendo nes pins just the fact that they're like gold plated in a way they're bronze color and it, it's it actually makes better conduction with the nintendo games than those new 72 pins that they sell online those are just galvanized and all you do you're just gonna be struggling with that every time you put in the game and take it out so remember guys just one by one guys all right guys so now you guys got this done obviously you know all the pins are already raised up so this is what you're gonna do so this the smaller part goes here back here so now we're gonna start putting everything back together so snap it back into place we need that bottom shield the tray all right so now now that you guys got the bottom shield the tray so that's how it's gonna look okay remember guys so bottom shield in so now let's put everything back this longer cable so the longer cable okay the longer cable is the second player that goes on the side the blue one goes right here in this blue one that's it right there and then the first controller first player controller goes in the front it's always the shorter one so all you got to do is basically just fit everything back just put everything back in place there's always these little tiny you know uh, pins right there that kind of put everything back into place so now that we have that going remember those two screws I always put these these uh, screws these gray ones I always put these on first so these go right here on the inner part now you want to test and see if you actually did everything right so I'll show you we'll get to that right now now the second process of this and then these regular screws these smaller ones go in the front now we'll get to putting everything back together so right now I just want to show everybody something else all right for right now let's put this on the side let's just say you got a lot of games and your Nintendo's already done now I have right now a Nintendo NES cartridge Super Mario that came in with it. So what I use to always clean this, I use Brasso. Uh, you could get it anywhere. You could probably get it like a, a supermarket, Target, Walmart. So I just basically just dabbed it. It's it's already pre-mixed with alcohol. So what you're gonna do is get a Q-tip, get some Brasso, get in there. Now really get in there. Don't be scared of cleaning this thing. So, all you're gonna do is basically shine up the, the pins on this thing. So that way it makes better connection with the Nintendo NES. Look how dirty this thing is. And that's why a lot of people think, oh, blowing on it. But no, guys, don't blow on your games. Please don't blow on the games. Um, I'm not gonna get to opening the cartridge. I'm just doing like a quicker thing of how to basically just clean a Nintendo NES cartridge. And this is actually going to be a lot better every time you guys put that game in there. So just get in there, really scrub the whole thing. And then once you guys are done, make sure you get a nice clean one and then just take this off. Just take the excess off. And even though you guys see that it's still clean, you're still going to get something out. So like that. So here's the next step, guys. Now let's put the Nintendo NES back together. And then I'll show you guys another little trick. Put this metal shield back into place. And then just go around, put all the screws back into place. Now this one was already, when I got this one in, it was missing two screws. So that's why I didn't put two screws on the back of that. It's really not necessary, but you know, I'm pretty sure all the Nintendos have their own screws. So, so all you have to do is just basically just zip through the whole thing and put all your screws back into place okay all right so by now you got all the screws back into place so now let's put this thing back together and everybody is used to like every time you put in the game you're used to just basically just putting the game in there and then just smashing it down so we'll get to that there's a reason why we did the whole pin system on this thing 
So remember, there's six screws. You should be left off with six screws after you're done doing the whole thing. Okay, all right, so now that we got all the screws into place, now let's put this little lid back in there, flip it. Now, let's bring it over here down to the tester where I got everything set up. So here we have an NES playing. This is how it should be playing. Now, as you can see, it's got the Nintendo NES game raised up. You don't have to push it down. Now, you could if you want to, but that's how it works. So let's turn this one off. And let's see how this works. Now, let's put this one in here. Just put the connections back onto this one. All right, so now that we got the game in there, remember, don't push it down. So we just insert it in, power button. Bam, there you go, first try. So remember guys, raising those pins and cleaning it. Cleaning those things up thoroughly with just alcohol, okay? Do not use brass on the pins. So, that's it. That's all you gotta do. Now let's do this again. One more shot. So, push the game in. First try. Every time you do that. So remember, clean the game thoroughly and do that. Exactly. So there you go. Hopefully that worked out for you, Zach Morris. And uh, hopefully, you know, if you guys got any other questions or any other issues, uh, leave us a comment and I'll be able to help you guys out. Just in case any little troubleshooting, just let me or Carlos know and then we'll be able to help you guys out. Now watch out for next future videos on how to repair a Sega Game Gear or maybe if you guys got any other suggestions, I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. So till next time guys, thank you guys for watching and remember to leave a like and a subscribe.